Howdy, how's it going? Um, I'm going to be real off the bat. First off, I yet again have no idea what I'm going to say. But secondly, um, okay, I know what I'm going to say again. Secondly, I'm in this strange kind of slump today. And I guess I'll just talk about that. I find that if I don't do much, especially activity-wise, I get this slump where I just sit around meaninglessly. And I've been getting it a lot lately just because all I really do is this, work, maybe take photos if it's a really good day and I'm feeling expressive, and um, lift weights. So most of the time, the only reason I want to get up in the morning, especially waking up early in the morning, is, okay, well, I'll go shower, I'll go put my clothes on, I'll go drive 20 minutes, go pick my gym bro up, go drive another 20 minutes, we'll get to the gym, and we'll lift weights, feel good for a couple hours, and then at the end of it, pump feels amazing, everything feels good, hour later it's all gone. And uh, and you just sit around and you're in the slump. Maybe you get work done, maybe you don't. I got this done. Didn't really get any work done yet today. I'm gonna have to do that later, I guess. There's just this slump that happens where it's like, why? Why do I keep pushing? It's not like existential weight. It's not, oh yeah, why am I here? Why do I exist? No, it's just like, what am I doing, man? I feel like a lot of it's just the meaninglessness of modern existence. Because, like, what do you do with your life? Same thing five days a week. I wake up in the morning, I put my clothing on, or I wake up in the morning, do my hygiene stuff, get dressed, get in my car, drive, pick up my bro at the gym, drive to the gym, or drive, pick up my bro, go to the gym, lift weights, feel good, drive home, or go do some bookkeeping, drop the gym bro off, film this, and I have a better life than quite a few people. Like, the guys working 9 to 5s have it way worse. Imagine that. Wake up in the morning, especially if you're, say, 28. You never really learn a lot of social aspects of the world. And a lot of guys never put the effort in. If they don't learn it as kids, they just never put the effort in. And they spend their entire lives alone. Bitter, almost. Like, I was talking to this dude in the park yesterday, right? Because I figured, okay, I never really learned to socialize very well as a kid. I figure I might as well socialize with people, right? And I'm sitting in the park. I'm talking to this nice old dude, Larry. Like, I just said hi to him. We start talking. He's talking about how he doesn't like the park anymore because it's got smaller. Really old dude. He was talking about when the city I live in, how it's 105,000 people now. But back in the day, it used to be like 500 people in dirt ditches when he was a kid. And they'd go right out and pick wild asparagus and stuff. And now he hates it because it's rural, but he doesn't want to move anywhere else. Because everywhere nice that's rural now has bad weather. And everywhere that has nice weather is now a city. He hates on it. I don't know. But, uh... It's funny, so I was talking to Larry, right? He doesn't do very much with his life, obviously. He's walking through a park. He's willing to... He's an older dude. He's willing to talk to me for forever and forever and forever. He's got some kids who live in Florida. He's got a wife. I assume maybe he's got two friends from his job. Maybe. If that. And I was talking with this dude, and at some point he just said... And this is a six-year-old man. I'm used to hearing shit like this from kids my age. 18, 20-year-old dudes. Sometimes they'll be like, oh, I just don't know the point of living. But they'll make it all mopey and dramatic, right? 
Or sometimes they'll just be like this, where they're all existential. But uh, this guy straight up says, I don't know why I'm living at all. There ain't much to live for around here. There ain't much to live for anywhere else now. It's all going to shit. <laughs> but he didn't say it in a way like, I'm going to shoot myself. He just said in a way, I really don't care if I live or die. Because he was talking about, like, we were talking about San Diego. And he was saying that San Diego is it's too criminal now. That's why his kids moved from California to Jacksonville, Florida. Because uh, San Diego is too criminal now, right? And you're walking through areas, and he's like, yeah, it's pretty criminal, but, like, that's not what I'm worried about. Because, like, I don't care if somebody mugs me or if they pull a gun on me. I'm not afraid to get shot. I, I don't even care if I live or die anymore, man. Ain't much to live for anymore. <laughs> Things just keep getting worse. And that... I've never heard a guy that age, or anyone this guy's age, right? Because baby boomer, probably the 60s. Late 50s, early 60s. Maybe mid 60s. But he was. I've never heard a guy in his 60s talk like that. Like, I've never heard a guy older than probably his 20s go, like, yeah, there's just, just everything's gone to shit, man. Nothing's as good as it used to be. I've never heard a guy. Guys my age will say it all the time. I have never heard a dude say that. Like, you'll hear the 80-year-old guy, oh, yeah, back in my day, things were better because cell phones. But they don't really justify it. This guy was like, I really don't care if I live or die anymore because my life is hell. Well, that was strange to me because I don't know, like, it's weird to hear it from somebody that age. That he doesn't care if he lives or dies because everything's gone to shit. Because <laughs> it's like weirdly anti modernist. Things were better before computers, he said. Well, he never lived before computers, but before we, computers became a staple in society. Because when in the 70s, when he was a teenager, What what are the computers doing? Math. Maybe being used to make some camera lenses somewhere. It's just really weird. I don't know. I felt I should share that. Back to the previous point. Um, it's not like this existential angst. I think it's just from not accomplishing anything. The point I was trying to make with Larry is that uh, a lot of guys live even more boring lives. Like at least I go to the gym with my bros. I take photographs of things. I film myself talking to a camera for some people on the internet. Like two whole people or whatever. Right? <laughs> um, but think about Larry for example. He was willing to sit with me and talk for 45 minutes in a park. Because what else does he have going with his life? Like, he was agreeing with me when I said, I just want to go up to, like, the mountains, go live up there for, like, weeks. Like, what if I just abandon all the technology? I just go up in the mountains and just live up there for, like, a week in the woods. I feel I'd be way better off. I feel like I'd be happier. I don't feel like this. Just, it's the aimlessness. Because at first, yeah, you're working a 9 to 5. It seems stupid, right? Let's say you're working a 9 to 5. But the aimlessness of it, where it's just wake up Monday, go to work, come home to a wife who really doesn't care about you that much. She's settled. You got leftovers. And then you eat leftovers. Um, 
Tuesday, wake up, 9 to 5, come back, wife who doesn't really love you, you got leftovers, maybe hot food, Wednesday, same thing, Thursday, same thing, Friday, same thing, Saturday, go drink with the two dudes you get along with in your office, get kind of drunk because it's the only way you can bury your meaningless existence, Sunday, hungover, Monday, the cycle begins. Imagine living every single day of your life as a copy. Think about how wonderful life is. In just a week, my entire life can change. In a week, I could be across the globe. In a week, I could be wanted by the government. In a week, I could be $200,000 richer somehow. In a week, I could be dead. In a week, I could feel the most alive I've ever felt. And in a week for those guys in the 9 to 5, they feel the exact same. Humans aren't meant to be stationary. We're meant to bounce around. That's why things can change so acutely and rapidly. Like just in a couple days, everything can change completely. And I think that's the cure for that meaninglessness. Is you have to just add things happening. And there's the added bonus that the kind of rapidness and randomness of you doing things to make your life feel better is also incredibly attractive to women. Chicks like it when you're just not bouncing. But when you're not just doing the same thing week after week after week after week after week. There's an appeal to the guy who's working on his business and his body every single week. But at the same time, the chick won't want that. And eventually it comes down to, do you want the chick or do you want the success? Do you want the success so the chick leaves? She's unhappy. You're kind of so-so. But when you've got that kind of... Variety is the spice of life. All different things have to happen in life. You can't just do the same stuff over and over and over again. And I feel like lately what I've been doing is the same thing over and over and over again. Wake up in the morning. Gym, bro. Gym. I gotta swap things up. Gotta go in the mountains. Gotta drive down to the desert. I mean, the other day I just drove up to Salt Lake to Fashion Place Mall. Went up there. Didn't even buy anything. Didn't really look that hard for things. But I went, well, screw it. I'm not doing anything. I might as well just go to Fashion Place. So I went to Fashion Place. I had a good drive there. Bad drive back because 48 mile an hour winds. Um, But it was better than just going back to my apartment. But the downside is it creates kind of this fear of going home at the end of the day. Where now I'm sitting alone in my apartment feel alone like okay four hours of suspended existence you don't feel alive but you're not dead you don't feel dead but you don't feel alive you're just somewhere in between the two and then next morning you feel good again ready to go and then you get back another couple hours of suspended existence it gets a little boring so I gotta figure out something to do Uh, I mean Well, I've figured out stuff to do now. This has actually been really helpful. I'm going to end the video here. Thanks. Bye.